And it is a brand new session of Poker Time. We're playing 5, 10, hold them. And I'm here with my trusty partner, Grant Dennison. Wow, that was like the most official opening of all time. Thanks. Of all time, including, you know, the price is right and stuff like that. Yeah. I do know. I assume that's what you meant. Seeing some of the players here. Stuart, Dan, Wheel, Sam. Not in that order. But in some in some order, at yeah. least. It's him with the 5-3. Got some new camera angles. Yeah, they're a little disorienting. Making me nauseated. <laughs> Stewie hey, Kings. First hand for the young one. Yeah, Stewie Younger. Stewie. There's Wonka. That jacket's kind of working for me on Wonka. He looks kind of like a cool guy. It's weird me out. Maybe it's the haircut. I don't know. He looks like he's in the military, which is... Yeah, if top you, gun. If you knew Wonka, that is very <laughs> far from what Wonka is. By the way, Wonka with Ace King here. Good spot for Stewart. Makes it 280, and this could get a little spicy. It feels like usually it's just a call for Stewart. Yeah, I think it, you're right. If you five bet, what do you do if Wonka shoves? Like, if you make it 700, I guess you call. But, you call, but you, you don't. Call. You don't like it. Well, you you never like it in any spot. If someone shoves in, you don't have the nuts. Really, I mean, sometimes you like it more than if you don't have the effective nuts. But you're certainly not going to five bet fold kings against Wonka. Right, which is why I'd prefer just to call. Yeah, you keep you keep a lot of his stuff in that he's gonna have to fold a bunch of stuff if you were to five bet here. Yeah, a bunch of worse hands. Obviously, he might fold ace king. Yeah, I actually think he probably would, which is not great for Stewart because what's Stewart's range? It's queens plus ace king probably at worst if he five bets and maybe one, maybe a little bit of bluffs, but maybe none. You don't really probably see too many bets beyond four bets in cash games these days, anyway. Yeah, the deeper you are, the more likely you're to have it. But here we go to your point. Stuart just calls, and he's going to be out of position, but with a significantly better hand than Wonka. Those are chips. And the stack to pot is lining up. As you can see, 605 already in the pot, though. Could easily be all in here at some point. It would have to be a pretty specific board, and Wa or Wonka well, is going to have to bluff. Wonka just has to bluff, yeah. He does have two back doors. He's going to continue on this board, I would assume, a lot of the time. We can't see what anyone's doing, of course. Stuart apparently has already checked, and here's Wonka. It's not exactly a downsizing board, but it's a downsizing situation. Yep, absolutely. And it looks like he bets 125 after making it 280. Stuart has an easy call. That is downsizing. Featuring Matt Damon. Surprisingly good movie. Actually kind of had like a serious message. Yeah, it was It was Which heartfelt. was surprising. Yeah. Stuart makes the super straightforward call. I guess you could raise because of the sizing, but against a good player, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah. This is a pretty good turn card for Stuart. Shouldn't be a, shouldn't change anything. I think Walker's going to shut it down. I think he would continue if maybe any gut shot, definitely any spade. Well, Wonka bets so little on the flop that he could decide to continue sometimes, I think, to blow Stuart off a hand like two nines. But he, Stuart, three bet an early position opener from early position. Yeah. He often has maybe just jacks plus as far as his pairs. Maybe you're right. Maybe tens. Ace queen. Wonka maybe is going to keep going. He's trying to get him off jacks, basically. Yeah, I think I think that's about right. Maybe also a chop. Stewart could have called 125 if he had the ace of spades in his hand. Sure. Or two hearts. Yep. Although Wonka has the ace of hearts. Yeah. So. Anyway, Stewart, starting to not love it. You're losing to queens. You're losing to aces. But this is just an always call spot. Right? It is, but it is so poopy. You know, it's poopy till you end up winning. Till the, you know, on the river you win the pot, then it feels great. It'll be very interesting if Wonka shoves. What do you do if you're Stewart if Wonka shoves? I don't there? know. I think Wonka. Ooh, no need to bluff now. This is now an easy fold for Stewart too. Yep. It is a third spade, but Wonka with the ace of spades on the board, the king of spades in hand. Doesn't really have to worry about Stuart ever having spades, I don't think. No, I don't think he has jack-10 of spades, which is the best spade hand he could have. I don't think Stuart has to worry about Wonka having spades, because it would be king-jack of spades is the best hand he could have. That doesn't really make sense either. Yeah. You wouldn't expect a cold four-bet pre-flop. So the hand values don't really change by the spade, but of course the ace, as we see, makes a huge difference. 
Stewart could have ace queen here. I think that's probably going through Wonka's head. Can Wonka get value from worse hands? Is is an interesting question here, right? It has to be ace king or has ace to be king. Jack suited. I don't think Stewart's going to three bet that pre flop from that position. He might not call the four bet, and he's not going to call position. the flop in the turn unless it's of spades, and obviously right. the ace of spades is there. I mean, in a well, ace jack of hearts, maybe because it was such a tiny bet on the maybe. flop with two back doors. But, but that's Wonka one combo. Has the ace oh, of yes, hearts. he does. So it can't be that. Wonka's going to go for it. He's clearly trying to get value, I think, from kings. It has to be kings that he's targeting. I mean, you don't think jacks are ever calling, right? I are think kings going to call? I don't think kings can call I think call this either. is a fold. I think this bet is a mistake. Yeah, I, th I think it's impossible to get value, basically. Let's find out. But it seems Today like on kings the breakdown. Have, oh, wait, no. It's yeah, a different show. It really seems like kings have a pretty easy fold here. You can't beat queens. You can't beat ace king. You can't beat aces. You can beat Wonka turning jacks into a bluff. Right, but he had to bet the turn, which would he? Would he really bet the turn with jacks when he doesn't have to? Not that frequently. After he bet only 125 in the flop, he's still beating some of Stuart's range for sure. And yeah, Stuart makes what feels like the right fold. I think Wonka went too thin on the value there. Yeah. Maybe he just feels like with the king of spades in his hand, he has to bet because he blocks the only potential flush that Stuart could have of king jack of spades, mm. which really doesn't feel likely anyway, but it's yeah. the most likely. But that's not a good enough reason. Maybe Wonka has examples of because him and Stuart have played a lot of poker together, where Stuart's heroed him on some of these like more polarizing boards and spots, and so he feels like he can get thinner value sometimes. I don't think of Stuart as being that guy though. No, as we saw, he folded kings, there. and that was a pretty well-defined situation. Yeah, it's possible Wonka made a mistake. It's also possible Wonka thought like the only hand I'm losing to is ace queen here, or a super slow played pocket queens, and like. I'm just going to try because it almost feels like a free roll. Maybe. But but to your point, if he can't get value from worse hands, then it can't be right. Anyway, here we go. We're playing a bomb pot, Grant. That All was right. a pretty cool first hand. This might be a double board bomb pot. We, we have allowed double board bomb pots to be played. I'm not sure if we are already starting. We'll know soon. Oh, it by is. the way, it's Omaha also. Oh, yes. So it's going to be fun for us to try to figure this out because only one of those boards is getting read by the card reader. Queen, nine, deuce on the bottom. That will not ever be read by the card reader, and we will just be figuring it out as we go. As you can see, we only know that Digital Dan even has anything right now, but, of course, everyone has, has hands, and we'll see them soon. The operations team behind this show is Here we go. Good. Maybe starting to get it together. There we go. Here they come. All right, let's see if we can figure out what everyone has. This is one of the fun parts about doing this. Is it fun, though? It looks like it checks through. Ace-7 is uh, two pair for Sam on top. Ace is up. He's got a deuce on the bottom and, nope, not spades. Russell, who's a player we haven't seen before, mm -hmm. has a couple straight draws on the bottom. Dan and Ross with uh, sixes and nines on the bottom and an ace on top. Not a lot of powerful hands, though. Open-ender for Russell. Actually, uh, more than an open-ender. A bit of a wrap there for Russell on the bottom, anyway. And a gutter on top, but it's all gone. That. Well, you know, it's hard to keep track. I'm trying to just see what everyone has, man. <laughs> Sam does call, makes a full house on top. He's got nothing on the bottom except for deuce, which I guess could sometimes be good if your opponent is playing the top. But if your opponent is playing the top, seven's full might not be that good. Sam, yeah, that's true. It's an interesting spot where Sam could decide to try and... Uh, you know, get the whole pot here, but of course, every time he's wrong, it's a real problem. Sam bets and gets an easy fold, so he so he was just trying, I think, to do exactly that. He was hoping the the board pairing on the bottom like mm. gets to win the whole thing. It's a nice little tiny bet to pull that off. One seventy five, I like it. Yes, it was like an Oompa Loompa size bet, Grant. Yes, it's a Willy Wonka reference. Yes. Are you doing uh, the Rick and Morty boss from the oh. Night Shama <laughs> Aliens? Yes. <laughs> episode. My man. Hey, you know, for all you poker time lovers out there, you may have noticed this is a longer episode. We're kicking it old school. Decided to go back to slightly longer episodes for a while, see how that feels. So, Pandemic. You're welcome. Pandemic episodes. Free poker. That's what we're giving you. Mustache's turn with the ace king. Ooh, and Wonka again with a big hand. Wonka always getting in these spots early on. Two out of three hands. 
Super easy three bet for Wonka. There it is. Four Xing in position. I like it. Bigger is better. Mm, would you like it if you made it 500? I think bigger is better. Okay. <laughs> it's an absolute rule. Mustache could put it in the four bet here. They're both in relatively late position, but he decides to call. Totally reasonable. It would be uh, just a call from Wonka most likely, and we yeah. would have gotten a big pot. We still might. This might be a check fold, depending on sizing. Not really anything going on for Mustache on this board. No. It's going to have to be a pretty small bet for Wonka to not just win it here. Looks like 155. Yeah. That's probably enough to get it done. And Leland gets up and, like, mirrors the exact same, like, <laughs> I guess Russell's the guy we can't see at all there. Yeah, Ninja. He looks like a ninja. Yeah. Because he looks like Knight. You know? So ninjas look like Knight. Well, I mean, they blend in, don't they not? Most of the time. Yeah. Unless they're doing a performance. They must become the Knight. You know, that's how you become a ninja. If you decide you must become the Knight. You say it as you look into the moon. Just to yourself, though. And then you're auto, you're auto ninja. Now then? you're a ninja. Yeah, that's that's a big it's part. Easier of Easier than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is in a lot of ways, but you have to feel it when you say it. You can't just say the words. Oh, you, you have do. to be a true believer. Yeah. So that part makes it kind of like Santa Claus. Santa Claus is a ninja. Santa Claus is a ninja, but if you want Santa Claus to bring you presents, no matter what age you are, you have to actually believe in Santa Claus. Do you believe in Santa Claus? Of course I do. How do you think I got this sweet Harley Davidson? It is nice. Yeah. So you got the limp from Russell, and Wheel is not having it with his ace jack. And Sam is thinking with three high. Not anymore. I don't think he was really thinking. Well, he was wasting time with three high. Yes. Well, what we know about Russell is that he limped. He's a limper. Yep. Russell played, of course, in the last uh, session as well. All 12 episodes. Pretty much. Russell did? I don't know that he's ever had a double. Did he not? Yes, he did. Oh, was that Wolf? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. You didn't know that, did you? I didn't. Yeah, yeah same guy. I, I guess you can't see his face. I can't can see you? him at all. Yeah. Oh, that's Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> now I know who it is. Yeah. So he did a lot of that in the last. Yes, he did. I feel like Wheel always sits in that seat. Am I crazy? No, I th actually I think Wheel requests to sit in that seat, and then the other yes. seats are drawn around him because he has an eyesight issue. That is correct, so he can see the flop. Yeah. Well, so I'm not crazy. I like that. I like not being crazy. They say if you ask if you're crazy, you, it's proof that you can't be. It's like a, I think therefore I am type spot. It's a I think therefore I am type spot. <laughs> All right, we got Ace Jack versus Nines, versus Ten Nine. Can Stuart, like, navigate this? Oh, my God. So interesting to know. Well, he flops a gut shot. So does Mustache. Wolf's just going to bet it out there with It's 30. Russell now. I know. And just take it down with two nines. That's got to feel good. Get I'm imagining of. Russell coming back to, like, his family home from across the country after three years, having, like, cut his hair and stuff. And everyone's like, hey, Wolf! He's like, it's Russell now. Yeah. That's I right. have a job in accounting. <laughs> <laughs> so we barely started, but already Stewie Younger down 870, Wonka up 1K. Of course, that's the first hand that did it. We had the four bet pre and a lot of action. Do you think, are there any guys in the NBA now that can't dunk? Yes. Are sure. there? Yes. Old can? Yes. Physically incapable. Like even in. Wonka's got the suited connector, his early position. He folds these a lot of the time, but I guess he's feeling good. Raises 25. <laughs> <laughs> but Muncie Bogues could... No, no, he couldn't go. He raised to 20? No, it was 25. Even that's really small for Wonka. He always goes bigger. Yeah. It's interesting. I wonder if that was a mistake. Wheel folds ace jack off. What is happening right that's now? That's pretty tight. For 25 also. In position. Wonka gets to take it down for 25. How does he know? How does he know? He's the Wonkinator. Oh, you know, I made that Oompa Loompa crack earlier. I forgot that Wonka was in the game. It was nothing to do with each other. You might have subconsciously been no, aware. I'm pretty sure not. Yeah, that's how subconscious works. 
you know, once you draw attention to it, though, I, I can sometimes know. Oh, yeah, you can go back in time and know. Can't you, can you not, like, reflect on something? Is that not possible for you? Subconscious implies subconscious. Right, at one point. But then we wouldn't even have the word subconscious if it wasn't possible to be aware of subconscious, what's going on subconsciously. That's not true. No, of course it isn't. <laughs> That was a terrible point that you made. <laughs> I'm just fighting with you. I know. It's basically your job. So my question really is, how did Wonka go on after Goose died? Like, that must have been tough for him. Well, he, uh, it, it wasn't really explicit in the story that the everybody was told, but he definitely had sex with Meg Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's weird. Yeah. You know, because, you know, he was with... Uh, Kelly, what's her face? Kelly Mc McGillis. Yeah. But, you know, why not? It's the closest to Goose that he can get. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. So Stewie Younger had uh, straddled the button, and Sam raised it up with the ace three, and Stewie Younger somehow flops bottom two. He miracles it. I'm kind of surprised to see Sam not continue with, uh, you know, back draw, straight draw, and flush draw. The ace of spades is a really nice card to uh, continue with here. And said he's going to check, and I guess now you just have to fold. I think you do. The ace of spades is so nice, but Sam just knows. I can't believe what happened during that commercial. We can't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't oh tell them. Oh, my God. It's going to be... With the legs, though? Burned in my brain forever. I can't believe the legs did that. Yeah. The legs is, of course, what we call one of our interns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's actually a really good nickname. The legs? Yeah. yeah. Not legs. The legs. For really like a, different. For like a really tall person with a small torso, especially. Could be that. Could be other things. <laughs> things that... Get Jonathan canceled? Yep. No, no, not like that. Wonka with Jax. In the big blind with Jax. Somehow we know that, though. Why do we know that? Because of the button straddle, most likely. Because of the button straddle, and he's going to raise it up. You should have been able to figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really should have. <laughs> Sam with the uh, two-thirds two of the double. Set minor. Six six six. Let's go. Call the devil. Ooh, Dan Ross could three bet. Absolutely. I kind of like a three bet here. Wonka did raise from very early position. He did. He definitely has a hand, but I still like a three bet on the button with the uh, other caller. There's so it's so hard to four bet. So you know you get yeah. to see a flop most of the time or take it down no matter what. And you can fold to almost all four bets unless they're tiny. You pretty much have to fold to any four bet that's not just absurdly small. Yeah. yeah. It's not a comfortable spot for Wonka, but he absolutely must call. Yep. Sucks that he has to be out of position post-flop. Sam must be hating the fact that he's in this pot with only 1.4K, and he's probably going to, he's just going to have to call also, because we know Wonka's not folding. I think Sam's just going to be forced to call here. It's close, actually. There's already 630 in the pot. If you flop a six, you're just getting it in a Whoa. lot. I guess. You got two players in front of you. It's, you already, I mean, you're going to have 1,200 back. Your implied odds are a little stronger because of the action preflop and that there's two opponents, I suppose. I think so. I think he has to call. He does. Well, that's a good, a good start for the old Dan Ross there. And it might just signify the end of the hand. I mean, Wonka and Sam are going to be very aware that the ace is a big part of Dan's range. Oh, yeah. Dan does not have to bet very big here. Any bet at all puts a lot of pressure on Wonka with with Sam behind him. 
you kind of have to bet this hand for balance, but I also like the idea of checking a little bit. You know, try to make it look like you have a pocket pair that missed. The thing is, you just you're gonna have enough calls out of your opponents here. You know, when you bet with worth with worse aces, they don't have that many worse aces with the preflop action. Like Wonka probably has ace jack suited plus. Sam might does. have ace ten suited plus. Yeah, that's probably right. That's probably it. And they let it go. But like you said, balance is part of it too here. Dan Ross is undercover boss. This whole time? The entire time it was him. That's amazing. The show? Legit. Yeah. You know, you ever see that show Boss with uh, starring Kelsey Grammer? No. He's is playing it, Dan Ross. good? Yeah. He does a great job. I, it really, he, he's, he emanates Dan Ross. That show. <laughs> like, I believe it. I, I'm watching him. I believe it's Dan Ross. Is that show actually good? I've never seen it. Oh, okay. It was on Showtime. I mean, who who has Showtime? Bill Gates. <laughs> what am I made of money over here? Showtime. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Yeah, it looks <laughs> nailed it. You know what's interesting Actually, about Stuart? Stuart looks, Stuart, Stuart looks like he's swimming His in the eyes aquarium. change color according to the color that he's wearing. That's cute that you notice that. Aww. <laughs> that, that is cute. Cute yeah. the violins. <laughs> Once you turn forty, you kind of get into the younger guy. <laughs> 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 Some nice looking hands here. Open ender and overs and a back door for mustache. A little bit less there for Sam, but the nine would be a big problem for Sam. Yes. The nine of spades is the only good nine, and even that not so good. Well, that's an even better turn for mustache. Mustache might want to consider raising worse Sam to continue betting here. Yeah, it's getting a little iffy as far as how often we're getting there. <laughs> Mustache looks like he's going right for the call. Oh, no, there's the race. I like a raise better than a call. Me too. It doesn't do a great job representing a lot of things. Jack 10 suited, pocket 5. That didn't raise the flop. So yeah. you can't give him all the combos. No, that's fair. But he's going to slow play those sometimes. Yeah. But like you don't expect the deuce ever changes any of that, right? Like he's not gonna he doesn't pack a deuces very often. He doesn't call the flop with that, I don't think. It's a very small raise, which kinda sucks when you're Sam and you're like, ah, do I I just have to fold this hand and yep. look kinda silly, sort of. Not really look silly, but you know how it feels when you are like, Yeah, I kinda had a garbage hand. Yeah. Well, it's one of the nice things about betting with a gutter on the turn is like you know internally that you're always folding there, right? Like you can't call. But then he gave you such a good price. Maybe you could three bet. Well that's yeah. That has nothing to do with price, then, right? No, but you get a good it price, makes it more enticing. <laughs> well, you have, yeah. I mean, you have less reason to three bet when you get a good price, right? I would say. I mean, if you're gonna, you could put chips in the pot, and three betting feels better than. Oh, quality. with that hand, yeah. yes, yes, certainly. Anyway, here we go. We're back to our another shit show bomb here pot. on Poker Time. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, know what people have. It's very challenging. I'm pretty sure we're doing another double board Omaha. I think we're just gonna do that every time we have a bomb pot. We'll see. Already eighty dollars in the pot. We go right to the flop. S the flops, I should say. Yeah, the double flop. And wait, oh, maybe just. Nope, there's the second one, and it is Ace of Hearts. Ooh, that, Ace of Spades. Well, nine of Russell's clubs. hand is pretty powerful already. In that he has Ace King on both boards. He's also got uh, the flush, the nut flush draw on the top. Yep. That is a very good hand, and you can see he's coming out firing. No. The interns have failed yet again to let us see all of the, c the well, cards. They're, they're but getting there. Uh-oh. Wheel's going to have to play this hand. He's got top here on both boards and the, what, third nut flush draw. He actually has top oh. two on the bottom board. Yeah, well, top and bottom, but yes. Top and bottom, yeah. You're right. He's also uh, he's got a gutter in the, on the top board, too, with the jack eight. Sam has come along with the uh, nine eight. couple back doors on both boards. And bottom two on yeah. the bottom. An eight would be very bad for Sam on the bottom. We're all doing good. We're showing our cards so far, huh, Brian? Nice. Nice it when the players are self-congratulatory like that. Uh, <laughs> Wheel now makes aces up on the bottom. He already had aces up, though, and that does not help him. How about that? Dan Ross makes two pair on top. Actually, already had two pair. He has three pair on top. <laughs> this keeps happening. 
Dan Ross and Russell both uh, even equity for the top board right now. Although uh, Russell with the nut flush draw, open ender, and top top on top. It's kind of crazy. Gold. Will gets out of the way. Nice job. Sam just probably can't call again either. I guess he's open ended in yep. the middle on top. I'm sorry. He's got two pair on the bottom. I guess he does have to call. Dan Ross open ended on the bottom. He's going to call as well. And apparently the software thinks the hand is over. It is not. Here we go. Nine eight for Sam. He makes a full house on the bottom. That was the last eight in the deck, too. Doesn't get there on top, though. Who wins the top? Is it Russell with ace king? King, no. No, 7 5. Dan Ross wins. Actually, but, 10 but, 7. Dan Ross wins. But Russell is betting only 110. This feels like a strange bet with basically has one pair on both. Top pair, top top on both. Well, he's going to win half here. the pot, and I think Sam's going to call. Not, I mean, he's not going to win half the pot if both guys call. Well, no, but if, if Dan Ross folds. Dan Ross is definitely going to fold. Yeah, yeah. And he does, and he's going to be upset. <laughs> but, of course, we understand why he folded that. Can we get Dan Ross cam? Is it possible? I'd like to see some Dan Ross cam right now. I don't think we're going to see Dan Ross cam. Uh, maybe we can hear him complain. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> he said bad fold. That wasn't exactly complaining. Yep. It's more just Dan Ross, serial complainer, <laughs> undercover Ross. Okay. Oh, that's what his show could be called, Undercover Ross, where he's like at his family, you know, hanging out with his family, and no one knows he's there, though. He's undercover Ross. <laughs> Not really understanding the logistics <laughs> of the situation. You need to be among your family because which Ross is undercover, you know? And it turns out his dad. <laughs> Dan's the one. Okay. And to what end? <laughs> He's like a spy or something. I don't know. Maybe he's going to fire someone. From the family? Yeah. Well, not from the family, from their job, obviously. Oh. He just yeah. picked someone at random and fired him from like, their Dad, job. Like, Dad, don't go to the mill tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can go, but, you know, your locker will be cleaned out. <laughs> <laughs> someone else will be using it. Dad. You can't see, but Dan Ross is smiling right now because he's thinking about how he's going to fire someone. He's going to fire somebody his family from yeah. their job yeah. without the authority to do so. But he's gonna pull it off. No, no, I mean he, the the show gives him the authority. Right, that's how it CBS works. is behind this. This is it. That's how There's it works. a lot of money. A lot of money. Fold. 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 Well, just had a lot of pretty good hands, but he hasn't really won any pots. I guess he won that first pot that he played. What are you insinuating, man? I'm saying he doesn't want it enough. Oh, okay. Is Wonka going for the three bet? He can't be going for the call. We know Wonka well enough to know. It's never a call here. Not with Jack Seven. There's the three bet. And, and Russell's going to call with Queen Ten suited. From the small blind. Yikes. <laughs> Likes. He, gets, he gets mustache out. That's a great victory for Russell. It is. Huge victory. Well, Wonka's going to win this pot. We assume. Wow, checks back. He, that doesn't, is he doesn't like Russell cold calling, I guess. But Wonka now picks up the flush draw if Russell doesn't start betting. Which he does. Russell this, could win this thing. This usually would have done Ooh, it right 60. on the turn. Wow, it's tiny. Raising is a bad story by Wonka, but that might not matter. It might just be the best play. He could just call, though, and see if Russell bets again on the river and then try and get Russell off a bunch of hands if he doesn't. Looks like he is going to go for the raise, though. I like it better. When it's only a sixty dollar bet on this double flush board, and he it seems like he just isn't strong. Insta fold. It's either a full house or he's folding, right? I mean, I mean, what's he supposed to do with even a hand like Ace Queen? I mean, it's not great. I mean, if you bet sixty, you could talk yourself into I'm inducing. Yeah, I guess. But I mean, why would you bet sixty with Ace Queen? Why would you do it? A little surprised to see Wonka not bet that flop. I know he's worried that Russell has an ace, but... Well, I think he's worried that Russell just has a very strong range. And, yeah. like, he, he doesn't want to, like... Maybe. He wants to give himself some more information by checking. And he got it, right? He saw Russell bet really tiny on that board and feels like... That doesn't now necessarily I know like, mean anything, though. We, see, we saw in the last session that Russell does a lot of tiny betting with and without hands. Yeah, that's true. 
also Russell could probably eliminate spade draws from Wonka's range since he didn't bet the flop for, right for the most part yeah so now it's just hard draws anyway so it's not that big a deal that deuce was should have been a brick anyway Dan Ross with the jacks the fish hooks so Russell with the fish. king three is not folding all right Russell's in I'm going to play the hands mode yep it is a mode that some people have. Sometimes people win a lot of money with this in this mode. I've seen it many times. <laughs> Digital Dan with a very nice flop. Monster flop. This could be a big one between Dan and Dan Ross. Yep. It's the battle of the Dans. Dan to Dan. Dan to Dan? Yeah. You're going to face, face him Dan to Dan. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. Like man to man. Mm-hmm. But you said Dan to Dan instead. Yeah. Because their uh, names are Dan. Undercover Dan. That doesn't work as well. Yeah. No, you're right. Dan of the Dan of the people. How about that? How about Dan in the city? Like instead of Caroline in the city. <laughs> I like it. So, so Ooh, there comes the flush. Interestingly enough, Dan Pasco decided to excuse me, Digital Dan decided to just check call out of position with this monster flop. Now he gets there and Maybe hard to get value. Well, he's going to lead, and I think he's going to have to get called once yeah, with the jack to. of diamonds in Dan Ross's hand. He has to get called. But you can't love it as Dan Ross. But you just can't fold, I think, two jacks with the jack of diamonds. I actually want a big call. 105. I want a big call off Taylor. It's a really small bet. And here's the river. Board pairing. Yeah, for sure. Digital oh. Dan usually good here not really a scary card for either player no i mean yeah it's worse for, honestly it's worse for digital dan than it is for dan ross yeah. right it is very very good i don't think digital is going to get any money out of this i think dan ross is going to find the fold most of the time here <laughs> probably right. let's see how the sizing goes though less than half the pot not significantly though and Dan Ross does find the fold. I don't think he was lying. That line is pretty strong from Digital Dan where he yeah. check calls and then leads the diamond turn and then bets again on the river after getting called. What's he supposed to have? Nice fold by di by, by Digital by Dan Ross. <laughs> digital Dan Ross. You're you you going to get there? <laughs> I'm going to start calling him Digital Dan Ross. That's cool. There's Digital yeah. Dan and then there's Digital Dan Ross. Okay. I think it's great. In a way, it's true for all of the viewers because they're seeing digital copies of the people. Of course. And also it's true because everyone is ultimately digital and been digitized. Yes. They just don't know it. Or maybe they do because I'm telling them. It happened in 1999. It was very famous. Uh, it was the government yeah. who was against it. Big twist there. But, uh, oh. but the insurrectionists got it through. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> here's a wheel from the small blind. He's going to raise it up with the king three off. You know what? I like this play. I'm sick of this limping from the small blind. But uh -oh. oh, that's terrible. terrible. Timing. Awful play. What the hell? This is very unlucky. Sam's going to put in the raise. It's not that unlucky. He's just going to lose 35 bucks, right? Yeah. It just is, usually, wheel completes here and doesn't raise. And so the one time he raises, even with a blocker, is the wheel going to not give up? He's giving up. This is fake, right? Well, he's not used to playing in a raised pot. Maybe he's just going to freak out. He only takes one of these uh, hundred dollar chips though, so he's pretending he's pretending to think about calling. But he might. Be, I don't believe he he's might call. call. Oh, he calls. King That's, three off, huh? Okay. He doesn't want to believe, but he yeah. should. Well, maybe he'll win anyway. There's a yeah. three. It's a good start, you know. He's also got the king of diamonds. Is it okay? He's gonna lead. Well, this is interesting. That it is the kind of board where you might get some checkbacks, I guess. He basically gave the chips to Sam. That's one fifty. Sam has an easy call. I guess he could try to get it in right now. He's got 1.2k back. It's a bit of a big amount to try to get in on the flop. He doesn't really need to. Like they're like the there can be a back that goes in on every street and they'll be all in anyway. It's a pretty Almost safe card. Yeah. I was sure a diamond was coming. Oh, I thought it could have. It looked like it could have been a king there for a second. Also, is Will gonna fire again? If it's, Will fires again, he knows he's bluffing. It's just a bluff if he fires again. Yeah. Ready checks. Sam, I think has a. Really easy bet here. Setting up like you were talking about the sh the river shove. Bet of like two sixty five, maybe three hundred. Do 
Did he just bet 265? I think he went No, smaller. it's 190. Yeah. Tough spot for wheel. Sam's the guy who's going to take some shots. Yep. Sam's going to float you sometimes on the flop and absolutely bet when you check the turn. It's it's reasonable to call here. And wheel does call. Blind versus blind, I think it's really reasonable to call. Sam did three bet pre, which makes it a little tougher, but still. The diamond might just kill Sam's chance at a double up. I don't think he's even going to go for it. Sam with less than a pot back. He's either going to check or bet very small. That is my prediction. Like, what are you trying to get called by an eight, right? That's what you're imagining Wheel has a lot here when he uh, when he doesn't have a flush. It's usually an eight that can call. Not as small as I thought. Is that 350? Yeah. It is. It's an easy fold if Wheel shoves. It is. I mean, Wheel does have the king of diamonds, but it's oh, it'd pretty be so, ambitious. It'd be so sweet if Wheel shoved as a bluff. Against f with 490 back, it'd be so, so ambitious. I would love to see it. I would love to see it too, but I would expect it's a call or fold spot for Wheel, and I believe he's going to find a fold. Most of the time, you'd expect that, yeah. There it is. Sam shows the rockets. American Airlines. The weapons of mass destruction. Alan Alda. <laughs> Alan Alda, eh? That's what people call aces, right? No. No one calls aces Alan Alda. Everybody calls aces <laughs> Alan Alda. Where have you been? Alan Alda does not call aces Alan Alda. Alan Alda doesn't play poker. Right. He would call them Alan Alda because he'd hear everybody else calling them Alan Alda, <laughs> even though they don't know who he is. It would be weird for him because he'd keep looking at me like, what? Yes? Yes? What? Uh, People would be telling stories about having Alan Alda, and he'd be like, he you don't know me, sir. <laughs> well, he'd have to navigate that, and it would be interesting and joyous to watch. It would be a great show. They could call it Undercover Alda. They could call it Alan Alda. Mustache limping the king queen. It's, Interesting. It's just an unusual thing here. And wheel raising very small as he likes to do once there's a limper. It's very wheel to make it only 35 on. on so a, very a wheel. It really is. That's so wheel. Well, gutter for wheel. Nothing for mustache. Wheel checks it back. That's a very surprising thing. I am I am definitely surprised by that. Oh, he doesn't check it back. Oh, no, he, he does, does check it back. And now there's a three of hearts, and Mustache is bluffing with the best hand. Yeah, I don't think you can really expect a worse hand to fold. It might just be equity protection. Or a worse hand did fold. Better hand to fold, <laughs> excuse me. I well, misspoke. I think you're targeting like. You caught me. You got your gotcha moment. You're targeting like two eights or something, you know, two sevens when you bet there, right? They're probably calling, though, right? Yeah, but you could always bet the river also. You figure like wheels generally afraid of the ace, right? So you're gonna bet twice and maybe get him to fold if you're if you're gonna take that. Maybe. Line. You shouldn't just bet once, is what no, I'm saying. Like, no, you should not. Because you expect you're gonna get called like a lot on the train. There's seventeen <laughs> kids. Sick read. Oh boy. First. Is Stewart's hoodie made of paint? Looks like paint. It does look sort of like a uh, a shimmery Van Gogh. <laughs> A shimmery Van Gogh. Yeah. I was just thinking like paint waiting to be mixed. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty similar to what I said. Wow. Wow. Show a little respect. To whom? Van Gogh. He's dead. I know. Do Don't you? speak ill of the dead. Yeah. I don't think you even know that he was dead. Even now. <laughs> I still, I'm still not sure. So we have the limp from wheel, and he's got eight six of hearts. Okay. Sam flops to seven. All spades on the board. Wheel with the gutter. I think if check to Sam should and will bet. I am wrong. You are totally bet. wrong. But I like a bet there. And now we've got spades, and wheel's got a straight. It's not a very good straight, but it is a straight. I mean, it's a good straight. It just is bad because they're spades, right? Contextually bad straight. But of but I mean, of the straights, it's a good straight. You know there what I other meant? Straights. I don't know anything you about know what, what you mean. Poker guy's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a call. It's pretty cheap for wheel. Another spade, and now it's a chop. Chippity choppity. Wheel checks again. Will Sam try and steal this chopped pot? Yes. Sure will. How much does he bet? 
Now, Wheel could... Really, I think all three options are at least possible for Wheel here. I love a raise after he does this whole rigmarole of being upset. Yeah. Me too. But I think it's just a fold based on the laughter and all. No, oh, he calls calling. instead for the chop. I think a raise is probably a better play. Yeah, I think so too. Get the whole pot when you raise and you win a lot of the time. Yeah. Because you're basically saying, I have the king of spades when you raise, right? Yep. <laughs> Strike that. Nice. It was a good turn. That's what I meant by rigging. Words are hard. Words are hard. Math is easy enough. Yeah. So we got a button saddle. I need to buy under the gun. You got you got half the you got half the pot. Well, yeah, I was, I'm not results. We got to uh, share Dan and Stewart's money. Might be the only way we do that all night. So, fold. Good result. Fold. Fold. I heard guys fold. that play poker on their birthdays are very fold. stingy with their chips. We have another button straddle, and the limp from Russell. Drink it. I am. I am. I'll get that eventually. Will decides to. Keep it small. He likes to do that. Might see a three bet here from Stewie Younger. But no. Call is reasonable as well. Probably see a call from Russell. I fully expect that. That guy calls more often than the psychic hotline. Hey, look at that. Well, good flop for Mr. Younger. That four was the ace of spades. Then the hand would be. It would not count. Yeah, yeah it would be You'd a You'd have a to reshuffle deal. the deck. Yeah. Well, I'd probably just remove a card from the deck better than reshuffling it. <laughs> no, we want to keep. Now that the players know there's two aces, <laughs> we're playing a new game. So let's see how Stewie Younger plays this. He is in position, so he decides he can call here. There are ways Wheel can win this, but it's really just running aces, running queens, and spades. Well, that's a full house for yeah. Stewart, but it does bring a gut shot for Wheel, which emboldens him to continue betting. Yep. That he bets tiny, tiny, tiny. 16 of the 310, less than 20% of the pot. Stewart with the second nuts. Raising feels like you're just always going to chase him away. When he bets so, so small. Figure if he's got a 10, you can go to war later anyway. And there's just the call. Being in position also just makes this much easier for yes. Stuart. Oh, it's the jack. Wow. Wheel makes a straight. That is an unlucky run out. The spades did come in. That might save him a little money. He has the ace of spades in his hand. Wheel just feels like he miracled the river. Yeah. So I got to believe there's going to be a raise one way or another. It, whether Wheel's check raising or if Wheel bets Stuart's going to raise. Stuart is probably a little concerned about kings and jacks full. Just a little concerned. He can be a little concerned, but he still has to race. Yeah, there's only one combo of kings full available. Wheel can have ace-10. Wheel can have queen-10. Wheel can have ace-queen. He could have jack-10. He could have jack-10. He could have 10-9. He could have pocket fours. I think most of those hands will at least strongly consider calling a raise. I don't know if they really will or not. I'm curious to see what wheel does here because I assume a raise is coming. I think we will just call and not really think about it too much. I don't think. Okay, that's possible. So Stuart makes it 675, and here we go. <coughs> Wheel shaking his head. Doesn't he, like it. He knows it's not ideal, but I don't think he can fold this hand. This hand is really good. Could Stuart ever play a hand like Ace-10 like this? So could this raise be for value, and we're, and we're actually beating that value? Spades came in, though. That's a real problem. It is. Stuart, he raises when the spade comes Stuart in. Stuart could really have a spade draw that called the turn because it was such a small bet. Maybe wheel can fold. Wheel also has the oh, wheel does call, the call though. It's not crazy, but I think maybe he can fold because it's the jack of spades specifically. Well, that's a fun way to end the episode. Wow, yeah. That was a good hand. We'll see you guys next week for some more of this session. I want to know though how people did. Like who who's doing well and who's nah, doing poorly? Guys, Someone turn it off. Up. Turn it off. No, don't, no, no. Don't let them see. There's enough time. You can put it up for like five seconds. Don't, Let's don't see the do cumulative it. winnings. Don't do it. Someone put up the cumulative winnings. They're gonna do it. They're okay, not good. Gonna, no, they're doing it. Hey, Wonka, wheel. Those are the good and the bad. Yeah. We have to go now.